local high school students get a chance to learn about local government and to put what they learn to practice. Laundell basketball wraps up a very successful season, the Easter Bunny pays the city a visit, and the environmental defenders show us all how we can do more to help our planet. All this and more is coming your way as Laundell Living begins right now. Hello and welcome to another edition of Laundale Living, the show that highlights the events happening in your community and everything Laundale. I'm your host, Anita Kellett Berry. First up, the Laundale County Library project continues to make headway as workers have installed the metal sheeting portion of the roof and have begun framing the interior walls. Excitement grows daily as the construction project is really beginning to take form. The new library is on track to be finished by the estimated December of 2008 completion date. The city will be holding its municipal general election on April the 8th. This year, the voters will be asked to consider Measure A, which would give the city permission to build a new community center on the southeast corner of 147th Street and Buren Avenue. The voters will also be deciding three seats on the city council. If you have any questions regarding the election or polling locations, you can contact the city clerk's office at area code 310-973-3211. Live election results will be televised right here on Laundell Community Television and also on the city's website at www.laundellcity.org. Local basketball all-stars from Jane Addams Middle School and Will Rogers Middle School recently participated in the Southern California Municipal Athletic Federation Division A basketball tournament of league champions at Cerritos High School. Laundell beat the Stone Creek Junior High Stampede from Bakersfield in the fifth round Constellation Championship game by a score of 47 to 32. The city of Laundell congratulates Roland Purcell, Chris Munoz, Eric Gray Jr., Martin Tress, Tylen Huff and all of their teammates for a job well done. And don't forget you can watch these games right here on Laundell Community Cable Television Channel 3 and Channel 22. You can check the TV schedule online at the City of Laundell's website at www.laundellcity.org by clicking on the Channel 22 e-guide located in the Quick Link section on the right hand side of the screen. Or if you like, you can call us at area code 310-973-3259. Our local Laundell basketball all-stars were not the only ones to be recognized this season as the City of Laundell's Community Services Department held its basketball closing day ceremonies at Bowling a Gym. City staff gave out awards to participants and the winning teams received trophies in their respective divisions. Let's give a big round of applause for the kids. They played so hard, I know they gave us a, a lot of enjoyment throughout the season and uh, uh, we hope to keep them in the program uh, for many years to come. Uh, we'll have a lot of sports opportunities here in Lawndale. The basketball program here at the city of Lawndale is very needed because our youth are out here. They can just be running wild. Um, it's a good way to bring them into from the community and get them involved in something positive. I talked with the... Francisco, the, the head of the league, and asked if he needed any volunteers. He said, yeah. And so I said, well, I, I'd be interested in that. And uh, it turned out to be a really rewarding experience. Uh, these kids are great, and the parents, I was, I was just shocked at how supportive all the parents were. Well, I love it when the kids are able to come over here, and they love to play. The coaches are good. The volunteers are great. And the kids are able to show what they got. And, the coaches have good timing and keeping them in the game and everything, and the kids love it. And I just like that. I like that a lot. You know, they got something to do. It keeps them off the street. And every time we do a new program, it's something for kids to do. And it just, it just helps the kids, helps them grow up, helps them be winners, and it's just a great thing. That will wrap up this year's basketball season here in Laundell, and you know what that means? It's time to move on to the soccer season. The city of Laundell recently held its opening day for the city's Spring Youth Soccer League. Our own Pamji Tara and the Laundell Living Camera crew were there to cover the festivities. We're here at Rogers Anderson Park today to kick off the spring soccer season. And with more than 400 kids signed up for the league, there's plenty of goals to be made. 
just had a little ceremony. The mayor, uh, council members came out, and staff did a great job, you know, setting everything up this morning. We sent out a lot of flyers to the school district, to the school district, to high schools, and we, as you can see, we got a good turnout. We got over 430 kids, 38 teams. So, you know, we we somehow pulled it off, finding coaches and volunteer coaches and staff stepped up to the plate and did a really good job with it. Man, little kids, just the expressions on their face, they just, I don't know, that brights up my day when I uh, see them score, lose when they, they're sad, stuff like that just gets me more, more motivated to do it. I think they're doing really good. The kids are really enjoying themselves and it seems to be a real big turnout. My coach has taught us dribbling the ball and how to manage it and what side to score the ball and the goal. Uh, it's good. I like it. It's uh, we, we got my younger son in it too, so we have we have uh, two kids playing. I like to run in my goals. Oh yes, because it really keeps them busy, keeps them active, and they're really excited when they come to practice. So they like the game, and they like the coaches, and they like their team. So they're really doing good. I like what they pass the ball to me. Well, as you can see, we have great uniforms. Good teams, you know, it's a good way for the kids to come and meet other kids and become friends with other people. So, you know, it's a good day to come out and have a family day on, on a Saturday morning. I would tell my friends to play soccer because it's a whole lot of fun. If you'd like to find out more about this or any other great city athletics programs, please give the Lawndale Community Services Department a call at area code 310-973-3270. They'll be happy to help you get involved. And speaking of getting involved, the city recently sponsored its annual Youth in Government Day. This event helps students from Lawndale High, Losinger High, and Hawthorne High to learn about their local governments by pairing up with members of Lawndale City staff for a day of fun and education. our community development director. The students really enjoy this event, and who knows, maybe a few of them might just help lead Lawndale in the future. If you'd like to find out more about this program or any other great youth programs here at the city, you can always call the Lawndale Community Services Department at area code 310-973-3270. Easter is always a joyous occasion in the city of Lawndale, and this year is no exception as the city hosted this year's annual Easter egg hunt at Jane Adams Park in William Green Park. There were lots of eggs for children to find, and the Easter Bunny was there to put smiles on everyone's faces. This is our Easter egg hunt where we collect eggs and have fun. We're here for our annual Easter egg event, and um, we're doing Easter egg hunts, uh, art projects, and games, and then a free picture with Easter Bunny. Pumpkin eggs! Pumpkin eggs! Easter time! Easter time! More eggs! A lot! A lot of eggs! We came out to look for eggs, right Sebastian? Yes! Yes! I found two eggs! Two eggs too? And so we had the parents out with the children gathering all the eggs. You know, it was a great turnout. Um, we prepared for a thousand kids and it looks like we got close to it. It's, it's been a pretty huge event, a lot of families, and I thought it was a good turnout.
Every holiday, Londell does something for the kids, which is a great thing. Just to say thank you. Thank um, you. Great event bringing the families of Londale together um, for cool. a special occasion. So we look forward to coming back next year. Thank you, Londale. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Bye. If you'd like to find out more about some of the great city events coming up in the next few months, please call the Londo Community Services Department at area code 310-973-3270. The environmental defenders polyurethane and aluminum recently visited William Anderson Elementary School and put on a lively show to teach our kids how they can help keep the environment clean. Londo Living reporter Pamjit Hara files this report. The City of Lawndale has teamed up with the Consolidated Disposal Services to empower our youth here at William Anderson Elementary School on how to protect the environment. You know, uh, we contacted uh, Environmental Defenders to uh, come out and put this program on because what, what we want to do is send the message home with the young people. We need some help out there because these landfills are filling up. So our goal and our job here is to go out to each school with Environmental Defenders and teach and educate the kids how to re reduce, reuse, and recycle. We sing and we dance and we use our fabulous personalities. Exactly. Okay. The whole topic is actually really exciting to kids. They get really excited. Children love to help out and we just help guide them the right path. And basically our goal here is to educate the kids and hopefully that gets back and build a strong foundation for them with recycling and you know hopefully that information will also get back to their parents with the ultimate goal of uh, recycling more and wasting less. We, we want to teach kids about the importance of reducing, reusing, and recycling. Very, very important. Okay. So that we make less garbage for our landfills, because we're filling them up too fast, right? Absolutely. Okay. And just trying to reduce all types of pollution, whether it's stormwater pollution, household hazardous waste, going into our regular garbage, all of that. Well, one of the goals of the Public Works Department in Lawndale is to uh, bring attention and awareness to recycling. Um, we have certain state mandates that the city has to meet each year uh, as far as the ratio of trash and recycling. I think it's really important that I think it's really important that you start with kids because the kids are the future and they're also it's so funny so many parents say to us oh our kids came home and they saw your show and they said we have to recycle now so the kids really push the parents you know to change their behavior. And we're actually looking at long-term behavior long-term change in terms of getting less garbage into our landfills and children are the best people to start with because they are the future. If we can start with them and get them recycling and reducing, the future is really bright. Reduce, reuse, recycle, re, 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 reduce, reuse, recycle, re, re, re. Reporting for Londale Living, I'm from Jihara. The kids had a great time and they can now help their parents learn to reduce, reuse and recycle. Recently, Losing Your Olympians, both young and old, were on hand to celebrate the annual memorabilia day at Losing Your High School. The event featured lots of memorabilia and photos from years gone by, and alumni who recalled what it was like at Losing Your when they were students. Parmjeet Hara files this report. Today we're here at Lusinger High School, which was established in 1930 on its 11th annual Memorabilia Day. Hi Sandra, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on here today? Yes, today's Memorabilia Day. It's actually our 11th Memorabilia Day. Um, this was started in 1998. <laughs> okay. Can you tell me a little bit about how you got involved with Memorabilia Day? Yeah, I got involved as a parent. I was in. A, I was president of a PTA, 
and uh, it was the President's Council in Chevron that um, were, was having a Pride Day in 1997, so I just took the area of gathering all the alumni, and that was a one-time thing. And so the following year, I decided, well, since we had all these names, I might as well do something with them. So I got permission from the principal, and um, we had our first memorabilia, and about 50 people showed up, and from there, it's, it's been growing. Well, Memorabilia Day for us is an opportunity to come back and really see, you know, the, the students and how the school is running today and whatnot. As an example, yesterday we had a chance to visit six classrooms and I had a chance to talk to all of the students and kind of bring them up to date on what we did back in 1947. When I got out of the car, there were some students to greet me, bring me into the area here, you know. And it, was, it really was wonderful, it really was. We have a very special alumni, and he came from Oregon, and his name is Dale Near, and he graduated in 1933. 1933, I'm 93 and waiting, waiting for my next birthday. You know, everybody has a good time actually talking together, you know, and meeting each other again, so. I was in the class in 1947. If you would sit down on the grass in 1947, you would have a number of your friends would come up and sit down alongside of you. And we all brown bagged it for lunch, so we would just sit and have lunch. And then, of course, the good humor truck would pull in. If you remember the ice cream truck? Right. Well, he would pull in, and one of the group would get up and get a pint of ice cream and, and at least six spoons because everybody was going to dig in and have fun. We have uh, some pictures that are provided by Walt Dixon. We have our continental breakfast we start off with and then we go over to the auditorium for a, an assembly. Students from the Polynesian Club perform traditional Polynesian dance routines and even the alumni couldn't help but get in the act. There you go folks. Don't be afraid. They're just girls. There you go. I like, the, I, I like what I see in the losing your jacket over there. It looks like a two-step. And it was a memorabilia day. Reporting for Londale Living, I'm from Jihara. And now let's take a look at some of the great events coming up your way in the next couple of months with the Londale Living Community Calendar.
Well, that's it for this month's edition of Laundale Living. If you have any questions about any of the stories you've seen here today, or if you have any story ideas for future episodes of Laundale Living, please give Laundale Community Television a call at area code 310-973-3259 or by emailing us at channel22 at laundellecity.org. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Anita Calvert-Berry. We'll see you next time.